Hi, welcome to Rejoice with Jeannie. I hope all is well, even if it's not all is well. I'm looking down because I'm standing in my house and I'm kind of like giving y'all a view from outside. And um, I said, this is pretty cool to do it like this. But um, we're going to start off like with a little prayer as we always do. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just say thank you, Lord. I say thank you for all things, Lord. I ask that you bless everybody that's on here, that's appointed. Lord, give us strength in the areas that we are weak. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. You know, life is good. It's really what we make it and things like that. I was just thinking, well, just to let everybody know that I made it back home yesterday, Thursday morning, about... 8.30, I got here, it was an early flight, so we had to be at the airport at like 4.30 in the morning, and it was packed by the time we got upstairs to go to the, uh, the um, airplane part, uh, we was loading on in, so I just thank God we didn't miss the flight uh, yesterday, but it was a beautiful two weeks that I was there. I always enjoyed my family when I'm there in Florida. And uh, just enjoy the beautiful water, the scenery of the water. I got a chance to um, go on my little, it was from like St. John's River in Sanford, Florida. Me, my daughter had got me that for Mother's Day. And um, her aunt and her little girl, we had a good time. I got a video, I put it on my Facebook Live. And um, I don't know how to really do uh, do it to YouTube because maybe because I posted there first, but I'll figure it out sooner or later. But it was a nice little bit video. I just on there giving a little word of encouragement, uh, but it was really nice. I just it just so relaxed. It was more like an older crowd. Um, the people they had like a little, you know, a little dance floor. They had there. They had. Um, the food was amazing. The food was so good, y'all. It was delicious. And um, they had, like, start off with salads, fruit salad. And then after the fruit salad, they had, like, a sticky bun with caramel. It was really good. And um, what else they had after that? Then salad and bread and all the coffee, ice water, soda, whatever. Uh you have wanted you know um they had adult beverages you know for people who want to you know had a drink they had um then after that they had dinner that was delicious and then after that they even gave dessert i thought it was really nice and things like that so you know we should always appreciate our things with our kids and do things you know, with them while we're all in the land of the living. And, uh, you know, because life is so precious. We could be here today and gone tomorrow, you know. So we we should just embrace every time that we got with our kids. I know y'all embrace y'all time, too, and stuff like that. And um, especially now that um, I'm getting older, what, I'm 56 years old. I'd be 57, you know, by the grace of God only by the grace of God that, you know, that I'm here. And I just thank him every day. So every day, you know, my most important duty is to lift up the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, and give him thanks and give him the glory because he's truly been good to me in my life. He's truly been, you know, good to me in my life from all the way from the beginning and the end. You know, sometimes you got to just thank them for, you know, the bad things, what you've been through. You know, embrace all that pain because all your pain is a part of your purpose. And, um, you know, it's just a part of everyday thing, everyday life, the things that you're going to go through. But when you look back over your life and you see where God brought you from, you know, you shout hallelujah. And, you know, you just... You just love on them. You just love on them. You know, I just, I just love them. And, you know, I just want to stay connected to the vine. As long as I have my friends here, you guys, 
I want you guys to always stay connected to the vine, you know, no matter what happens in life, no matter how hard things get for you, just stay connected to the vine, you know, to Jesus Christ, because he will bring you through anything, because if he bring you to it, he'll bring you through it, and you know, and um, that's such a blessing, you know, how good God is, you know, but we just need to just continue to you know, worship him, praise him, you know, and just give honor where honor's due and things like that because uh, I said I wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, a lot of people that's not in churches, they have a lot of church hurt, as they would say, you know, um, from the way maybe the people greeted them when they came in, the way um, they was, you know, they just didn't feel welcome. But everything starts and ends with you. And, you know, when we first become, turn our lives over to God, we start first start coming into church, we'll find every excuse just not to be there. Because, you know, um, church hurt, that'll sound good for you, you know, to run out the door and stuff. But, the thing about it is, I tell anybody, you should be able to sit in anybody's church, you know, and remember that you're not there for the messenger, you're there for the message. You pay attention to that message because, like I said, everybody has flaws, pastors, evangelists, prophets, prophetess, you know, uh, teachers off, you know, the fivefold ministries. Nobody's perfect but God. You know, we're always going to have to uh, lean in towards more correction in our life, you know, and want something, God to help us in another area in our life, you know, because every day I could find something like I could have handled that better. I could have said that better. This, you know, it's just something about yourself that you know that you can change that will better you to make you a better person you know than that you are so you can love more you know on other people you know and um, be able to take things you know um, to the heart I'll take things when they are aimed at you you know and you feel that way, but uh, most of the time it's not aimed at you. And I'm not saying like some, you know, pastors don't do that, but um, I feel like this, if, if you feel that they was talking to you or something like that, that's when you really just really need to sit there and listen and take heed and start, you know, trying to work on them areas in your life, you know, because uh, that's what I did, you know. Like I always tell people, you are sick as your secrets and stuff like that. Uh, I'm the type of person, if I'm going to give you my um, dirty laundry, it's out there because I don't care where you take it from that point because it's under the blood of Jesus. It's under the blood. God has forgiven me for my sins when he died on Calvary on the cross. And so, you know, condemnation don't live here no more, you know, no guilt no shame it don't live with me no more you know because i'm free from that and um you know it come a time in your life that you have to get delivered from people you know sometime um you know people will keep you from going forward to the place that you want to go to your destiny and go into the doors that the lord have for you and um don't let people stop you but I always look at a spirit operating in a person because, like I always tell you, everything God made is good. But don't never let nobody, uh, people, stop you from what you believe in, what you dream, what your dreams is. You know, don't they still there for you? You just got to go out and get them. You got to open the doors. You know, you can't expect you know it to be just set on your things just to be given to you so easily set on your um, lap and things like that you know a lot of things now I, I, I will say I'm comfortable I'm, I'm a comfortable person I'm not a rich per person but I'm comfortable in my skin 
I'm comfortable with my spirituality. Um, I no longer, you know, would never say church hurt, spiritual abuse, you know. Uh, those things you have to ask God to deliver you from. And just when you're early coming into, you know, giving yourself over to the Lord and things like that, it's, it takes time, you know. It takes time because if be part of you want to be in and part of you want to be out, and um, it's a process, you know. And like I said, um, it's it, it's not easy, you know. You have to go through a lot of stuff, and you have to have to deal with a lot of people, you know, disliking you, people rejecting you, you know, and. Especially if you have any type of gifts, you know, that spirit, not the person, that spirit don't want you to go forward. That spirit, not the person, don't want you to go forward because it's, it's a lot in you that um, have to be, you know, that have to be birthed out and um, you have to get it out one way or another. So, you know, I, I thank God for things like this, like for um, social media, this YouTube, I have my own platform, you know, you know, to just come on here to give you guys an encouraging word to say, you know, you can make it. You know, you look at me now and you probably look like I haven't been through a whole bunch, but this sister been through a lot. And like I said, I thank God for everything, but I don't like to, there's so many testimony. I said, if you just stuck on one testimony, that ain't good enough. Because uh, God just saved you a lot of times when you didn't even know you were saved. You know, he saved my life. Even when I was seeking deep in sin, he, he saved my life, you know. You know, he, he chose me, he chose you, you know. You was a part of him, you know, you connected to him, you just got to keep yourself connected in him, you know. Yeah, you got to keep yourself connected in him. But God is so good and stuff like that. And um, if you feel the need to, that you need to go back to church, go back to church. Don't let the thing what happened, this pandemic type of thing, don't let that keep you out of church because that can stagnate you, make you lazy, and make you feel like, well, this is the best thing. But, you know, I got a, I learned so much just even being home and stuff like that. And I love to go to church as well. You know, um, I guess if you, when you've been through so much in your life, you know, you just surrender. You surrender all, you know, to the Lord Christ, you know, Christ Jesus. You surrender all. You know, and that's where I'm at right now in my walk with the Lord. And, you know, just talking to him and, you know, just praying to him and, you know, seeking him for directions in my life. You know, it's always good to seek God for directions in your life. Like the 23rd Psalm, Psalm you know, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. I should not want you should not want for nothing. You should not want for nothing. Don't get excited about the things of this world. This world looks so beautiful. Look at this. That's all God's creation. Let me see, can I take it back a little bit? I'm going to uh, let y'all see a little bit of this, but I want to touch on that about, you know, being delivered from people you know, and knowing how to being able to sit in any church and being able to just get the word. They're not looking at the message. Look at the mess, me message because you're supposed to love people. And the more you in there, you become more of a mature saint, you know, and you're able to deal with um, things. You, you know, you're able to like kind of like laugh at it. So, you know, like kind of like, as y'all say, you know, like brush it off and stuff. And uh, it's okay, it's not It's not boring, you know, it's not that boring and stuff like that. You know, sometimes we take things a little too serious than 
we have to because I tell you what God looking at, he looking at your heart and he know what's in your heart and he sees what you do behind the scenes. A lot of things I do, I do behind the scenes. I don't do things for man to see it. I do it behind the scenes because God said give a secret and he will openly reward you, you know. So I like to do things like that and you know, I like to, I like to, the spirit that I have, you know, a giving spirit, a loving spirit, and I care about the people of God. That's one thing I do care about, them little bitty baby saints. I care about them babies that's coming in, don't know no direction. I care about them. Now, we have some type of <laughs> a confrontation. I'll never get in a confrontation with the word going back and forth with nobody, but far as, you know, the people that's coming in, don't mistreat them. Don't mistreat them. Feed them what they need. And that's the word of God. Pray for them. Pray that God strengthen them. Pray that God strengthen them because they need it. And see, God sees all and he knows all. And I'm so glad I was able to come out here with y'all this evening. But I'm going to let y'all see more. Of see, God see it. No, let it go this way. I never knew. It's so pretty when it's, it ain't really lit up, but it's so pretty. But I'm going to leave now. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Love, peace, and joy to the next time. My blessed babies. Mwah.